Oh, hi. Technology changes at such a rapid pace that by the time you buy the latest phone or computer, it's already old. Ty, I just bought the new iPhone 10, you jealous? Bro, that phone is so last week. I got the new iPhone 11. It's got Lick ID. You'd lick to unlock it. But those are just the things that you'd expect to change. As it turns out, there are much bigger things that we commonly use that will surprisingly not just change, but be completely gone in less than 20 years. Here are 10 pieces of tech that won't exist in 20 years. Number 10 are rear view mirrors. Some of you already don't use these. I see how you drive. As the saying goes, you should always keep your eyes forward, but check your mirrors to see where you've been. Well, it won't be long before you won't be checking those mirrors at all. With the evolving technologies going into cars these days, the odds of companies using cameras over old school rear view mirrors is getting better and better each year. Not to mention that they will come standard with any driverless vehicle, which will also skyrocket in popularity in the coming years. Taz, there a ghost driving that car? Oh, it's a Tesla. Cameras are getting less expensive, adding to car companies' willingness to not only replace the rear view mirrors, but the side ones as well. 20 years from now, the only way to see a car mirror will likely, and ironically, to look back at it. Number 9 are phone towers. As technology advances, it also often shrinks, allowing the same work to be done while taking up less space. Such will be the case for phone towers, which will one day soon become so small that they won't be there at all. Some smartphones can already communicate with each other at distances up to 500 meters. This technology, which was dubbed LTE Direct, was developed by Qualcomm and has been in the experimental phase for a few years now with mega companies like Facebook and Yahoo creating different applications for it. It uses the smartphone's LTE radio to connect to other devices within range directly, meaning that there's no tower needed in between them. As this technology advances, it will eventually eliminate the need for towers altogether, which is probably for the best because have you ever seen a cell phone tower? It's not exactly pretty. They look like they were developed by people that used to walk 10 miles uphill towards school and 10 miles uphill back. Number eight are remote controls. Frantic searches for the television remote are almost unheard of now, but in 20 years they will definitely be a thing of the past. Billions and billions of devices are already connected to the internet, meaning that they could be controlled through a computer, tablet, or even your phone or smartwatch. Smart home assistants such as Google Home or Amazon Alexa allow you to control media devices with just your voice. Hey Alexa, who's the sexiest person in the room? You are Big Papa Pom. Damn right. Even fancy controllers for climate within the home will be unnecessary. You could literally just tell your assistant to warm things up a few degrees or cool things down if you want to chill. Wait, that already exists? Mm-hmm, my point exactly. Number seven are credit cards. When credit cards were first introduced, they made paying for food and entertainment a snap. The first widespread charge card was from Diners Club and was introduced in the 1950s, quickly gaining 20,000 card holders in over a year. But that was 68 years ago and times and technology have changed, baby. Many companies such as Starbucks and McDonald's, along with hundreds of other businesses, are already offering payments through a tap of a phone. Some have their own apps, while others take advantage of the payment features that are built into newer smartphones. Or watches, don't forget the watches again. That's happening today, but in 20 years, we could be paying for things with a single fingerprint scan or even tiny scannable devices implanted in us. And okay, the coffee will be $6. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let me scan it with my finger now. Number six are metal keys. Embrace the future and never lock your keys in your car again. The technology to completely replace physical metal keys already exists. It's only a matter of time before it completely takes over. New cars already have push button starters that only require a fob to be in close proximity, usually in a driver's pocket, on a key ring of keys that will also no longer be needed. Imagine doors unlocking and opening in buildings simply because your phone gets close to them. And you can already get locks that open with voice commands, retinal or finger fingerprint scans, or even just the right gesture. Hey Siri, I'm home. 
Believe it or not, you can even get a little RFID tag implanted in your hand so a sensor can see if it's you and physically open the lock. Although I wouldn't recommend that last one because they're gonna find you. They know where you are. Wear a metal hat! Number five is physical media. No, this one's not much of a shocker. In the early 2000s, VHS met its end when DVDs became the norm, just as audio cassette tapes were replaced by CDs in the late 1980s. However, the age of physical media may soon come to an end altogether. Except vinyl. Vinyl's gonna be around forever, is the hipster style. Streaming services such as Netflix, on-demand video with cable packages, and obviously the YouTubes have reduced the need to even buy Blu-ray discs, which have already replaced DVDs. And who could forget the iPod and other MP3 players that have eliminated the need to own CDs, unless you're in a car with a CD player, no auxiliary port, in which case, what kind of Uber are you taking? Even video games and books will no longer need physical elements beyond the gaming systems and tablets. The world is going digital. I suggest you join us. <laughs> Number four is wired phone chargers. <laughs> Imagine never having to worry about your cell phone dying ever again. No more missed calls or disconnections or even missed tweets due to power issues. And all without the necessity of plugging your device into a wall outlet, a USB port, or even a computer. I feel like we've all been waiting for this for a long time. How are we there yet? Step it up, Samsung and Apple, let's go! Wired phone chargers are already on their way out with a number of new smartphones able to be charged with special wireless Qi pads. Simply setting your phone near one of these things will start the charging process, meaning you just need to physically be close to one. But technology will go further. Companies are already developing tech that uses radio waves and Wi-Fi signals along with special antennas to carry energy to your smartphone from over 4.6 meters away. Soon you could literally be out on the town dancing, partying it up, and your body will be charging your phone for you. That's called bioelectricity. You're basically a battery. Number three are ATMs and wallets. The way we pay for things seems to change every few years, though cold hard cash has always seemed to be a favorite. However, with the advancements in financial security associated with online and app banking, it won't be long before governments stop wasting their budgets on printing cash and instead switch to digital only currencies. Fun fact, only about 9% of the world right now is physical cash. Let that melt into your brain. As paper, metal, and plastic money is circulated out, things like wallets and automated teller machines will no longer really have a purpose. It won't be long before driver's licenses and other pieces of identification become obsolete, especially if the cars are driving themselves. No more having to find an ATM or carrying around crumpled up nasty bills. By the way, what are you doing carrying around all those nasty crumpled up dollar bills? Why do you carry so many? You going somewhere tonight? I know where you going. Filthy piglet. Number two are needles. <laughs> Unless you're diabetic or have some other illness, <laughs> you are not used to needles and you probably don't like them. Luckily for everyone, the era of the needle injection could very well be coming to an end. MIT has announced two different projects to end the terror. The first is a form of jet injection technology, which can shoot a substance faster than the speed of sound through an opening in your skin that's practically microscopic. The second method involves the patient actually swallowing a capsule with a needle inside of it. Yeah, I know. But it could be the safest way to deliver drugs, allowing the medication to be administered more efficiently. After the tiny needles inject the stomach lining, they are slowly destroyed by the digestive system. Let's just hope that all goes according to plan, because the last thing I want to do is be pooping out needles. And number one are cinemas. <laughs> It's been said more than once that the days of going out to the movies are coming to an end, especially with the invention of the television set, which brought entertainment right into the family's living room. But still, people defied logic and kept going out because they felt the experience of watching a movie couldn't be duplicated at home. But things continue to change. 3D and HD televisions are becoming more affordable and easy to set up, creating big picture and sound for home theaters. In the long run, it'll simply cost less 
less than going to the movies and it's kind of more convenient. On top of all of this, the emergence of virtual reality technology has given people the ability to actually visit a digital movie theater from the comfort of their own home. You can even yell at someone to sit down and get off their phone, virtually. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it in the future, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for my new uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.